So here I am back in the harbour city of Sydney with its picturesque beaches, iconic landmarks and of course, its home sweet home. Hello Shbani, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Welcome to the SCG. Hug it oh, out. Oh well, it's great to see you. Great this to see you. This is my favourite ground in the world. Wow, look at this place. Yeah. Steeped in history, a lot of people in Australia think the MCG is the spiritual home of cricket. Mm -hmm. I personally think, and I'll, it's hard to to argue with this, that this is the spiritual home of cricket in Australia. This is the home of Bradman. I mean, and as we can see, that is the original uh, from the scoreboard and the, the framed it when they knocked the, uh, the scoreboard down and, and they put it here in the members bar. I mean, this is a great members room. And no, I, and it's I, amazing. And I feel as though they've managed to keep the character of it over the years. Yeah. So it's not completely modern, but it's got that old school feeling. Yeah, and that's why I love the ground. So I thought I'd show you around a yeah. little bit. I you see, this is the home dressing room. Home dressing room. The Indians this summer Which means the be, Indians are this yeah, way. Yeah, we'll, we'll gravitate this way. It's a little small. This is the front room. Oh, this is so amazing but it's though. it's steeped in history. You've got the honour boards of any visitor test player to either score a hundred or take five wickets. But what I love about this is some uh, honour boards are placed for the public to see, but this is for the players. Mm -hmm. And it, as you can see, it's steeped in history all the way back to 1882. These are the old doors to uh, the lockers. If you scored a hundred in a one day international or a first class game, the players have sort of made their own uh, on a board and you can see you of Raj Singh and ODI, ODI, VVS Laxman. So that's obviously test cricket and the players were like, well hang on, there's more than test cricket. Yeah. And so they created their own on a board, which I really love. This is the same door that Kapil Dev would have opened all those years ago. I'll do, oh, lucky he didn't get me in the head. <laughs> this is the spot and if you were next to bat, would you sit in here and get a sense of the crowd or would you go behind the mirrored glass and sort of I think, oh, a little bit nervous, but so the, look Sit how here, close right? you, yeah, I would. But yeah. look how close you are to the crowd. There aren't many grounds in the world. Think of the security in the modern day so cricket. So there's no security here generally? No, that's the Even fence. today? Even today. So to sit in those seats, you need to be a 50 year member of the SCG. Oh. So they're reserved for uh, people who have been long time members. So this is Yabba. So, you know, the modern stadium is obviously all seats, but back in the day, this was a grass hill. Mm -hmm. The old scoreboard used to be up here. And back in the day, as folklore has it, Yabba used to sit here. So he was known as the sort of, you know, the jester of the crowd back in the day, calling out, yelling things at players, making everyone laugh. And so here he is. Another great part of the history that they've kept. Yeah. Love it. I'm at the SCG with Ed Cowan and he's showing me around this historic stadium. The statues are, in, are a new feature and uh, Richie Benno is over there um, to our right. Uh, Steve War's here and then they've sort of interwoven these beautiful bronze statues and they've got the Walk of Honours. Betty Cuthbert, who most cricket fans won't know, but she was a fantastic Olympian in athletics for Australia. So you've got to remember that the SCG obviously is the Sydney cricket ground, but it also has oh, so, many so many different sports. Sport. So the Sydney Swans play here in the winter. Uh, there's a huge history of rugby league at this ground before Allianz Stadium next door was built. It used to host athletics carnivals, held a, a major league baseball game only a few years ago. So it, while it is a cricket ground, it is a multi-sport ground as well. That's the great thing about Australia, is that Australia is a multi-sport nation. It is, well that's the joy, and particularly Sydney, you've got the beach within touching distance of the city. You know, swimming at the beach, working in town, your kids are racing around at all the sporting events. It is a great lifestyle, you're right. So one last thing I, I did want to show you, because it, it's, um, you know, Obviously some great memories on this ground as well. I'm going to be emotional even talking about it already. Um, but there was an event here um, that saw the passing of a friend of mine, Phil Hughes. And they have a, um, they have a plaque, <laughs> sorry, up next to the, the members stand up here. So every time you 
you walk out to bat, you can you can walk past that and uh, think of a, a lost friend. Kind of emotion that this, just the stadium alone, steeped in so much history, can mm -hmm. can kind of evoke in a person. And clearly, this is something that's very uh, deep rooted for you. So mm -hmm. we thank you for sharing that with us. That's I know okay. that must have been tough. <laughs> So this is obviously a memorial for Philip Hughes who passed away in 2014 and just reading the words 63 not out forever, it's literally giving me goosebumps. Bondi Beach. What more can I say? What are we doing here at Bondi Beach today? Well, Dumbest question ever. <laughs> can you answer it for me? Very simply, I kind of joke, wouldn't it be funny if I thought you had a surf? And you're like, you know what? That's an idea. So here we are. What is the lesson? Never joke around. Ever. Ever. So are you ready to learn how to surf? Yeah. Have I mean, you I already... done it before? I've done it once. <laughs> okay. First things it first, didn't go well. if you just stand like really straight. Okay. Okay, I needed to work out which way you were saying. Which foot forward? That's why. So you're goofy. Just can you lie on the board for me? So paddling out the back. Okay. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Not too far. You want to be about an arm distance away. Yep. Okay. Paddle, paddle, paddle. And then I think for you, up on one knee. Leg. Up. And then, ride it in. And then... <laughs> so we ready to go out? Here we go. Self instructor well, I have ever met. I, was... I, I appreciate you abandoning me in the water once or twice. But no, honestly, like I couldn't have asked for a better day than you teaching me how to surf. That was fun. Thanks. Thank you so much. Good work. Should we do a little dance? If not here, we shouldn't. No, we should not. <laughs> Surfing and ice cream at Bondi. What more could you ask for? It's easy to see why Sydney Harbour is regarded as one of the most beautiful natural harbours in the world. Well, it's not the sunniest day today, but here we are on Sydney Harbour with East Sales, and right behind me you can see a spectacular view of the Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So how many times a day do you, would you say that you sail? During the summer period, just about every day, and it never ties me out. Really? No. You're on water more than you are on dry land, then. That's okay. <laughs> you are. What's there, wrong right? with that? You are, yes. There, right? Yes. Best job in the world. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, it can be. Yeah, but uh, we have to focus, and we never get complacent. But uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm out here on a beautiful day, meeting beautiful people on a beautiful harbour. Does it get any better? Is it a good day for sailing though? Perfect day. Is it? Every day is a good day for us. Okay, as long as the wind blows, we are happy. What? When there's no wind, you might as well take a power boat. Yeah? One of the things that I actually love about Sydney is that it's a great shopping destination. And here at the Rocks Markets on Sundays, you can find an eclectic mix of art, fashion and jewellery, most of which is Australian owned and made. What a fun start to the day. I'll see you back here for the first ODI.